Oh yeah, it's your boy Brett back with another Summoner's War video. Guess what? It is that time. Finally, the long-awaited real-time arena. We've been talking about it and heard about it for, I think, since last December when the uh, Rift came out. Just all kind of changes, but it is finally here. So we're going to go through just a quick video to let you guys know about it. Uh, this developer note came out this morning. Sorry, guys. Of course, I got to work. Got to pay them bills. But I am now back. I'm home. And here we go. So the real-time arena is going to be uh, in this new patch. It says June 21st, so that should be tomorrow. Yep, that'll be tomorrow as of this video. Actually, that's today as, as of this video. Um, and then, as you can see, we're going to be pretty much the testers, the beta, beta people, uh, for the first two weeks, which means don't be scared. There's probably going to be some lag and some things like that. So um, it will be for two weeks to test, and then I take it they'll probably take it off or just update to see what's going on. Um, the way it's going to set up is you can send requests, as you can read here, send requests up to 30 times a day, but there will be no limit to how many requests you can accept. So that means you can go back to back with your, your guildies or your friends and test out things to see how things are going to work, uh, which I would recommend, especially, well, everybody's going to be new to it, but especially low levels. If you want to get in on it, I recommend testing it out with your friends and guildies first. Uh, that way you don't go into it and just get manhandled um, because then you'll just feel bad because you thought you had some good mods and you notice uh, they may not be room right or they may not be the right ones for this type of setup. Um, as of right now, no rewards. I don't know if that'll come later, uh, but we'll see. And as you can see, there's going to be different ways to send requests. So the real-time arena is going to be on your left here uh, when you're in your friends tab in your community. So you can just go real-time request and hit somebody. Uh, second way is going to be in your guild. So for your guildies and friends. So again, I recommend going through your guildies. Usually at this point, you've been playing with them for a while. You probably talk in chat or have a, a third-party chat app or something, whether it be Line, CowCow, Facebook, whatever. Uh, and, and, you know, go back and forth uh, and test out who you've got there so you'll know who's running what and get an idea of what the, uh, the meta is going to be for this because, you know, it's not going to be necessarily your, your standard comps, and I'll explain that in a little bit. You can most definitely get in a chat and talk some mess with this. Check it out. You can be in chat and you get that, that as you see, that level 15 has got a Artemio, or excuse me, not Artemio. He's got an Orion, uh, Orion uh, monster, as it looks like his rep. He may be talking a little mess, whatever. Call him out. Feel free. This is the beta. This is the time to talk mess. The big boys will probably be doing what they need to do. The little boys will probably be talking mess like little boys usually do. And bam. So that's going to be fun. Talk a little mess and enjoy it for a while. Um, now, with that said, here's where we start to get into the meat and potatoes of it. Okay? You cannot use the same monster in real-time arena. So that means anybody who's got those off-nat fives... And when I say off, like for me, Praha is my, my dream monster. I don't have her. So if somebody comes at me with a Praha, they've got her. But if two people come out with a Vertaha, guess what? Only one person gets to use it. Chasun, only one person gets to use it. Chloe, only one person gets to use it. So you won't see, you know, whoever picks it first gets to go. And I'll explain picking in a second. Uh, you're going to need at least 10 monsters. So there we go. 10 good monsters. So if you're not, if you don't have 10 good monsters ruined, I don't want to say rush into ruining somebody, but kind of make sure you're ready to go because, you know, if you go in there with some unruined, unleveled, unawakened monsters, you're just going to, again, get manhandled and you're not going to learn anything because you're just like, I'm not ready yet. So if you're not ready, you're not ready. But on the same note, 10 monsters, that's what you need. Okay, so here we go. Once you accept a battle request, uh, you can select a monster, and we're going to ban and select the leader monster. So how that's going to work, uh, again, reading it here, 
Uh, first pick will be decided at random, so like a coin flip. Uh, players will be uh, the players will be able to se to select and ban monsters according to designated number of, um, of each stage. So step one, person A is going to pick one monster, and you get a thirty second limit, which should be plenty of time to kind of you should already have your comps in mind of what you want to use. So you get thirty seconds to pick. On to the next person. Step two, player B gets to select two monsters. Then back to person A, two monsters. Back to person B, two monsters. Back to person A, two monsters. Then person B selects one monster like person A did at the very beginning. So there you go. That, that That's your ten monsters right there. After that, and I'm going to think this is going to be done like kind of in a secret hush-hush type thing. Uh, in, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, if I've got my, my phone and somebody else has got their phone, it's going to say, pick a, pick a monster to ban. We're going to pick it, and then bam, it's going to say, hey, this monster on each side has been banned. So you're not going to know. So it's not like person A can say, oh, you banned my Chloe, so I'm going to ban your, your Zeros. You're just not going to know. So it, it'll probably be each person picks simultaneously, like it says, and then bam, this person's gone. After that, you're going to select your leader monster. I recommend having two to three leader monsters if possible. For example, if you go Bernard, Lucian, Megan, uh, you've got Bernard there. But if Bernard gets banned for some reason, you don't have a leader skill. I know uh, Lucian has a leader skill. Um, I, I just, new video, I got Lucian, guys. So I'll be doing that next. But I just got Lucian, so I know he gives... I believe it's a, a attack buff, but I don't know if it is will work in the arena. So if again, if uh, Bernard gets banned, then you don't have that speed buff for Lucian like you thought you had. After you guys pick that, battle starts. Bam! And then after that, it says uh, both players will not be able to know which monster has been banned by the opponent. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's just going to be like X'd out. Or if it's just banned for that turn, I, I, I don't know. Or you'll see your mods for your fight and it'll just be missing, I, I assume. With that said, guys, um, as with regular guild battles, I would say if you're going to do this, make sure you have a good internet connection. Because as with guild battles, if you DC or you get kicked off or something happens, that's a sword gone and you lose that. Or if you're running a Kairos dungeon... And you're fighting a dragon, Giants B10, Dragons B10, whatever. If you lose signal, it pops up and says, hey, uh, please try to reconnect. If you can't reconnect, this is a loss. So I would assume along the same lines that if you happen to drop, that's a loss. So keep that in mind. I don't know if that's going to work specifically, but I'm just going based off what else happens in the game right now. So real-time arena. Uh, it has a special rule that when the game activates an additional effect once you've reached a designated number of turns. So what that means, the way this is set up, that blue bar gets across the top, as it hits, or once you guys hit 30 turns, um, the game is going to kind of take, take effect. So instead of having a tower in the background that just hits everybody as a mass hit, the game's going to hop in and say, hey, you're at 30 turns, uh, you're taking too damn long. So we're going to speed it up for you. It's going to... Is going to um, increase increase the attack of all your monsters, and is going to decrease their max HP. So kind of like a, an attack buff and a destroy at the same time is going to increase and decrease because this isn't meant to be the most epic of the epicest ever battles. You know, it's supposed to get in, do the battle, best person wins. Okay, so you've got thirty turns, then you've got the blue bar. And it's going to start increasing and decreasing. Increasing attack, decreasing max HP. Every 10 turns after that is going to increase again. I don't know if there's going to be a... Or I don't know how it's going to increase. If it's going to be like buff 1, buff 2, buff 3. Or if it'll just keep rebuffing and giving a higher buff for the attack. And same thing with the defense. I don't know if it's going to be... Or excuse me, HP. I don't know if it's going to be just HP break, HP break, HP break, or however it goes. Uh, it may just be one big one and do it more at the end of the turn. Uh, after that, each turn has a 15-second limit. Again, you should know your comps. You should be good with that. 
Um, so you should know what you're going to move when you're going to move it. Okay? So, again, if you're running Bernard, Lucian, Megan, you pretty much know who's going to move and what move you're going to use or what skill you're going to move. So you you, you kind of know that in your brain. At 150 turns, you get a draw. I don't... 150 turns, in my mind, again, I'm thinking if everybody goes, that's one turn. It may go, you know, each monster movement is considered a turn. That would make more sense to get to 150 because that's a lot of turns. So each mod movement it may be considered one turn at 150. Uh, game over. It's a draw. All right, so there you go. There's your sneak peek. Today was the update of it right here. It said the 21st patch. They're going to start rolling it out. So probably tonight. Uh, midnight or what 2 a.m. when it resets so you guys will probably wake up tomorrow and get an update and get into it so I'm gonna hop in with some guildies and we are going to uh, I'm gonna try to get try to bait some of them in there to see who's got what because uh, we always send pictures and who's doing what so I want to see what they got uh, I know someone want to see what I got so we're going to well, I'm going to try and, and I'll let them know I'm recording. I'll, I'll text them here in a second. I'll let them know I'm recording and try to get you some live looks. I'm off tomorrow, which is great because that means I can record and get it up uh, sooner than later like this video. So, yeah, get in with your friends, your guildies, anybody who's willing to uh, talk some mess and see who's got the bigger set of monsters, as it were. And, yeah, you will be able to go through and set this up. So just again, it's in your developer's notes if you haven't seen it. Uh, there you guys go, just a brief message about the update. I will be bringing you that Lucian video here soon. He's brand new, he is six star level 40. So you'll see his room, see how he works. But um, other than that, it's coming and I will see you guys later.